there's something that I bet I've stated and repeated over time that it's going to get that time or that time is coming whereby all those who hated on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be the one crawling and asking for forgiveness. And trust me, you the same way karma has been working on people out here. Those who have always been on the front line just on hating, most especially the Duchess of Sussex, with this whole notion of her being biracial and that they are white and probably wouldn't wish to kind of involve themselves with black people. Trust me, you things are going to be different on their side. Or devils are soon going to turn. Here we are speaking about the royal website whatever they wrote trust me you they're just telling us or just showing us how desperate indeed they are of that we've seen how how william charles on the other hand are so much into what harry is doing because trust me you they can't withstand just watching harry like this doing making progress doing things of so much importance and while them they don't even get a single or halfway attention of what harry gets it's been a, a process for harry and megan it has really been a journey for them and them getting this far it was really, really not for their expectation. A lot of them predicted that, you know what, let's just give them two years. It passed. And here they are at the moment and still can't get, can't get rid of their obsession over the Sussexes. Either way, let's see where this whole thing is going to end. But trust me, you, a day, a time is coming whereby they'll be the ones on the front line just asking for forgiveness from Harry and Meghan because they hated them for no reason. Just spread lies and rumors about them for no particular reason. The royal family and the British media engaging in gaslighting is too much. Did they not say that they can't be half in, half out when there is their website implying that Harry and Meghan are half in, half out? And we all know that's not true. Because that's not true. I've always said that the same way they opened gates, the same way they left them just to leave the UK, is the same way they are supposed to come to acceptance of knowing that Harry and Meghan are never getting back to the UK. That's way they probably might be able to move on. If they can't get that thing out of their head, that mentality that is so much fixated Hoping that one day Harry and Meghan are going to turn and just come back, be working royals. Trust me, you, it's a notion that they are supposed to kind of just get read of. Just allow me to read you whatever was written on the royal website. The Duke of Sussex is fifth in line to the throne and the younger son of King Charles and Diana, Princess of Wales. He spent 10 years working in the armed forces. At least they know that. Huh? Ending operational duties in 2015. During his service, he conducted two tours of duties to Afghanistan with the British Army as announced in January 2020. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have stepped back as a senior members of the royal family. They are balancing their time between the UK and uh, the North America, continuing to honor their duty to the king, the Commonwealth, and their patronages. This whole statement is so much filled with lies. Yes, yes, we know very well that Harry is really our son to Charles and Diana. We can't change that whole thing. But to this point whereby they are saying that, you know what, Harry and Meghan are balancing their time between the United Kingdom and North America. That's where they live. It's definitely not true. To that point, also continuing to say that, continuing to honor their duties to the king, uh, the commonwealth, and their patronages. Weren't they the same people who were saying or did whatever they did with the so-called thing over removing their titles? The patronages that I thought were for Harry and Meghan, I bet were already shifted and we've seen of let that it's William and Kat working on them. And them saying that they continue, they continue to honor the duties eh, over the king, that's definitely a lie. These people have been out of the UK for three and a half years now, if I'm to count. Eh? 
and they no longer no longer like you see how they used to live there like they used to wait until you're told like do this do that that's how they used to operate but at the moment they require no one's permission they require no one's affirmation to do what they want they are free to do what they feel is right as long as it's for the benefit as long as it's a positive impact thing and as long as they both are comfortable with they don't require anyone's anyone's permission what they wrote about the duchess of sussex was the duchess of sussex born rachel megan markle married a prince ha married to prince harry at st george's chapel windsor in may 2018 the duke and duchess of sussex have two children that's prince archie and princess Lilibet Diana of Sussex, as announced in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back as senior members of the royal family. They are balancing their time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor their duty to the monarchy and Commonwealth and their patronages. The Duchess will continue to support a number of charitable courses and organizations which reflect the issues with which she has long been associated associated including the arts access to education support for women and animal welfare the duchess official title are the duchess of sussex countess of abandon and barnes like this whole thing is just makes you want to read and you're like what's wrong with these people i thought they they never wanted her i thought they never saw her importance they never treated her as one of their own with that whole story of her not being completely white and that she's black. They showed it so much in public how racist they were. They made the public domain know. They made like the whole world know, like see the racist within them. And this is something I don't know how they will be able to kind of just make people get rid of. Because it's so much fixated in our heads that the royal family is so much racist. If they couldn't handle a biracial that is half white, half black, what will they do to the ones who are fully black? That's a question that hopefully someday they'll be able to answer us. And as we also are expecting to see Charles in Kenya, that's a country full, it's a nation full of black people. Let's see how it goes. As for the royal family, they've made us see how obsessed how desperate they are for just for Harry and Meghan and they can't withstand just watching them from a distance making progress living their best life assisting humanity being one amongst their prioritized things trust me you they are yet to even see more because Harry and Meghan are never stopping they just made us understand that no negative narrative will stop us from being the people we want to be and that's why day in day out they keep pushing living their best life, bearing in mind they are no longer in a toxic environment, but in a very, very safe, non-toxic environment and doing what is expected in a right of them. Somebody commented, yes, after everything Charles did to them, he's now acting like they are here working for him. He must be afraid of William and Kate. He really has to. Because he himself, I bet at this particular juncture, he no longer sees potential in either William or Kat, the so-called awaiting king and queen. Because they've proven how lazy they are, how incompetent they are, and that we are so much like, we got the question marks. Like, are these the people that are supposed to be leading us? Trust me, you, it's not going to be. Okay, I say that they'll do this. They are claiming he has a duty to serve the king by nature of his birth versus being paid for it. That lets them take the credit for their work. They always just tend to use Harry's name huh? just for them to be able to kind of acquire credit or something of the sort. Because even the UK press themselves just made us understand that just speaking or hating on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is a million dollar industry, which just keeps on flooding people day in, day out. And probably that's what they are also doing here. How come they're mentioning Harry and Meghan on the royal website? Whereby during even their birthdays, they don't even wish them happy birthdays. Not forgetting even the grandkids. But now they are here speaking of how Harry and Meghan are still in duty for King Charles. Where on earth 
this is literally so so much insane and somebody also commented and said Willie isn't been sent on overseas diplomatic duties. His New York trip was a failure. I think Charles is trying to act like he is still relevant here by connecting his reign to Harry and Meghan. And that's a total disgrace. Because he never saw potential on Harry. That's why he treated Harry the way he did and thought that his so-called best son was probably someday going to be making him proud but instead it's the other way around and that's the reason as the way maybe we don't see him in important things important missions charles doesn't even send william chorus it's so obvious that he also never or doesn't also see potential in his own son it's a high time they just understand they are literally under underestimating themselves or probably let me just use a simple word and that is embarrassing themselves because william and cat are theirs that's what they made us understand and they just need to leave harry and megan alone at this particular juncture i don't know what are some of your thoughts over this kindly just leave your comments down below and that was our today's podcast and thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next podcast bye